Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Leaser Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Dry Twice. So in the last episode we arrived here on Kofuku Island, found a bunch of LARPers who are missing a Game Master, and we also met some familiar faces from the last game, and then we also found uh, Dora, who has also found the Vagina Dentata flower, and we are supposed to help her to make this uh, flower blossom, and let's see, what did we need? What did we need for it? This is one uh, very needy flower. Very picky one. Uh, where is it? To get the orchid to bloom, it must be watered with poisonous bog water. And and it must be uh, beguiled with words. Beguiled, beguiled with words. Uh, and it must hear the dulcet tones of classical music. Very picky flower, flower, flower like I said. So, that, so that's, what, that's what we have to do, and I also believe that we also have to bang before this flower. That's just what I read from uh, somewhere in this game, most likely in uh, Bobby's office. But now, without further ado, let's try to do at least one of those things. Let's try to bring at least one of those three things uh, to this flower here. So, let's start with the first one. It was the... Must be watered with poisonous bog water. Okay, now where can we... Find some poisonous uh, water, and and we also got quite a few items in the last episode as well. We got game master guide, permanent marker, candles, fruit rings, luminous mushroom, and pliers. Okay, did did we get these red berries last time? I I think it was the episode before that. Okay. So, and there's nothing else in here that we can pick up. Does it look like it? No. I believe that I believe I believe that we're supposed to water these roots specifically, and not actually pick up the roots. Oh, and we also found these ancient ruins here, over here. These ruins, but I have no idea how to open this gate. Hmm? Hole. I don't recall checking that hole last time. I can see something through the hole. Aha, I see. So let's let's take another. I can see something through the hole. Let's take let's take another look. Monkey and the horn and a coconut giving us a finger. Okay, so was there a monkey image here? And, and here, here I just said that hey, let's get that poisonous water or whatever for the flower, and I'm already already distracted. Okay, so the so those three symbols that we just saw are not on any of these three pillars. I think that the horn was on top, right? I can see. Yeah. Yeah, horn, monkey, and the middle finger flipping coconut. <laughs> okay. But they were. But those symbols are over here at the very least. Okay, so. I think. Uh, let's see. Yes, they are over here. Hmm, I think I know how to, uh, what to do now. So, we ha have to get the horn here, then the monkey, and then the... that. Okay, okay. Now what do we do? Oh, didn't want to do that. I was, I was just wondering if this arrow is important. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now this should be right. Horn, monkey, and the middle finger flipping coconut. I don't see any uh, anything else that we can click on here. No, only these rings. Okay, no buttons or anything like that. So we need some. So we need to put something on this socket here. But what could it be? I think I have tried this vodka already. Hmm. Uh, and the luminous the mushrooms. That's fine. Okay. Well, okay. 
And uh, what was this drink again? Why did they put such ugly colors on that can? Hmm, okay. I was just wondering that if this energy drink is what we needed to uh, to water the plant with, but I guess not. Okay, so we need to put something on this socket, so the light will reflect back to the uh, wall here, and then uh, and then at the right symbol, so so we know what symbols that what symbols we need to use in order in order to open the gate. That's just my wild guess what we're supposed to do here, but anyway, at least at least we have made some progress regarding this. We just need the right item for it. And just to make sure that I'm not missing anything else here, there's lots of a lot of, lot of or That's orchids not here. The kind of bush I like. Oh, didn't want to click that. But yeah, well, let's not pick up any any other orchid that we see. Yeah, okay. I think think we are. I think we just should go back to. Should we go back to the Cannibal Island? Well, let's see if we can. Hi. I know Muffington's one of the founding fathers, but why did they name the island after him? I think it was the only island that didn't have a name. Well, that's something. What else is here? The founding fathers spent a lot of time here, and Rigibald Cockburn is said to be buried here. Maybe you can find some trace of him. And I need to find a way to talk to Faith. She and the other cannibals will have to trust me. Is there anything else you can tell me about Muffington Island from the file? The island is also considered to be haunted. It's said to be haunted by some scary Sister Superior. Oh, that sounds exciting. Maybe I can find her. Speaking of scary, that guy back there does look kind of menacing. Yeah, I, I, I was about to com comment on this Otis. No, he's very, very freaking hairy. And what the hell is... What the hell is... Uh, what, what's going on here? Is that just a raccoon tail hang, hang, uh, hanging uh, at his crotch or... Is that just his pubic hair? Ah, uh, let's hope that it's not. Let's hope that it. Let's hope that it is not his pubic hair. It's just a raccoon tail. And that hat. I guess that could also be of a rac. I guess that could also be a raccoon head or what's left of it. Well, let's go and try to talk to Otis. Wait, I I thought I thought that there there were only females on this island. Ah, uh, hi. I'm Larry. Hi, my name is Otis. You seem pretty brave. Why? I mean, you're a man, right? You bet I am. I should be throwing you in our jail right now. No need, I've been there. What? Uh, uh, nothing. Well, <laughs> I'll make an exception. Why, thank you. Do you like being in this tribe? What do you know about the little guy in prison? What can you tell me about the Sister Superior? Well, let's start from the top. Do you like being in this tribe? Oh, so-so. I'm not allowed to live in the village. My hut has to be outside. Why is that? Somehow I sometimes feel like I'm different, you know, from the other cannibal girls. And I've oh, been don't a say. member of the tribe since the very beginning. And, well, I think you're... How can I put this delicately? You are clearly a man. I bet you have got a willy in your pants. You are definitely at least other. Well, you are definitely a man. You're clearly a man. What? Of course not. That's an unsubstantiated allegation. At any rate, well, I'm just so confused. I don't really know what I am. It's all so confusing. Uh-huh. You have to learn to accept yourself as you are? You have to learn to accept yourself as you are. What do you mean? You have to, you have to accept your uh, masculine attributes. I'll teach you my best tricks for getting women. Uh, I think we should go with this one. You have to accept your uh, masculine attributes. I have the same problem myself, but at some point I simply had to accept that my masculine virility has no limits. A man can also have his merits. But the others behave so strangely towards me. This society simply has expectations of me that I can't meet. If you find yourself attractive, then others will too. There is something in what you're saying. Mm, okay. So, what do you know about the little guy in prison? That would be Swinkle. 
What do you know about the little guy in prison? Oh, he kind of creeps me out. Oh, he looks at me funny and he licks his lips. And the of course he does. He grabs himself. There's no way I could ever reach those on my body. The other day, he made me so furious that I grabbed him and choked him. But he actually liked it. I <laughs> stopped. And he was really disappointed. He said he almost had a sexual out-of-body experience. Ooh, hopefully, <laughs> he'll soon be fat enough to eat. And I won't have to hear his voice anymore. Right. Of course he liked being choked. What can you tell me about the Sister Superior? Can you tell me about the Sister Superior? The Sister Superior? Better not talk about her. She's always somewhere nearby watching us. If we do anything she doesn't like, bad things happen. Why don't you do something about her? If only it was that easy. She especially picks on me. I'm her nephew. You are? That's what she calls me. And she thinks that everyone in her family is respectable. So I should be too. Hmm, okay. Well, gotta go. I have to get going. Don't eat limbs unless you know where they came from. Okay, so that was Otis. Anything here? Hmm, what's that? Hand mirror. Ah. Maybe this is what we need for the socket in the cave. Hey, you're looking great today, Larry. As always, um, uh, uh, hot. Cozy. Almost too cozy. What do you mean too cozy? It looks kind of messy to me. And a uh, male skeleton. How can you tell that that's male? Oh, the skeleton of a man. That's too far away. So we may need that skeleton. Can you reach it with a shovel? That won't help. I oh, we have to shoot it down somehow? Um, I don't think I have I have anything that I can use to shoot it down. Oh, the skeleton of a man. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Can we go to the village center without being captured? Oh, she's there. Wendy is her name. Ah, cooking pot. How lovely. And salt and pepper. And that's the, and that's part of the airplane. That's the prison where we escaped from. Yas, queen. <laughs> okay, so fate must be in there. Oh, that's the rest of the rest of the airplane. Boeing six 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 Max. <laughs> hmm, toy recorder. Uh, brochures. Tattered book. Should we go and talk to her? Is that really safe? Ah, so we can get back to the jail through this way. Okay. So we can talk to Swingle as well, if we need to. Well, let's go and talk to Wendy first, I suppose. And hope that she won't take us back to the prison, even though we can easily get out, but still. What? How did you get out? Uh, I was just looking for the bathroom. Get back in there. Okay, I I knew it. Okay, but can I mo move around the village? No, I can't. He goes straight to her. What? How did you get out? Uh, I was just looking for the bathroom. Get back in there. Okay, okay. Okay, so we may have to get rid of her somehow before we can actually uh, move around the village here freely. Is there anything that I think I need right now, somewhere? I don't know what this book is about. Cooking pot. Maybe, well, it's green. Maybe that's something that we need to uh, water the vagina tail tata flower with. Salt and pepper. And brochures. Toy recorder. Okay, let's just go back. Hmm, not much else that, that I can do here, as long as that woman is there. Okay, uh, let's go back here, back to Kafuku Island real quick, and see if, if, if it's the mirror that we need to place here. Yes, it is. Hmm, okay. 
So this triangle thingy, that looks like a I don't know, popsicle. And, and an orange that, that's been cut in half. So is that the top, middle and bottom one? I don't know. Well, only one way to find out. Okay. So. The triangle. There we go. Then the... What was it? It was the popsicle. There we go. And then the... Then the half-cut orange. And is that it? Hmm, okay. It did something. Didn't open the door, but it did something. Okay, so one of those yellow uh, crystals is now red. So we need to do two other things before this thing can be opened. What about here? I can see something through the hole. Mm-hmm, okay. So, the weird hat alien and then the... Oh, oh, didn't want to click that. Go away. Okay, so... Alien and then this hat here. And then it was this, I believe. Okay, so whatever, I don't know what to call this, another tri another triangle or pyramid that's upside down, and, and a combination of these two. Okay. But I might really have to do this three times. That's asking uh, quite a lot. I, I mean, I just don't see it. I, I just don't see the point to do this same puzzle three times, basically. Well, let's just go with it. Not that. That. Oh wait, what? What? Shit! That was the right one. Shit. Well, let's move this at least. There. If, on, if only he could do this faster. Come on, Larry. Faster. Mm, that was it, right? Mm-hmm, okay. So the light moves. And I can see something through the hole. And the third one is Tentacle Ant Head and And the Rock and Roll Hand, or whatever you call that. Okay, so Tentacle Head, this Ant Head, or at least I I call this an ant. And then this. Okay, so Pokeball and this this uh, square thingy with four dots above it, and uh, I don't know what to call that. A Pokeball with this square in it. <laughs> okay. And please open up after this one, please. Okay, so it was... 
It was the Pokeball first. Oh wait, was it the... Or was it this? Well, let's assume that it was it was that. And, and there's the Pokeball, and then down here, the combination of those two. Where is it? There it is. There we go. Open sesame. Ah, that worked. The entrance to the ruins is now open. Great. Well, let's go in there first before we go and t tell the LARPers that, hey, this place is now open. It's a cell door. The door handle seems to be coupled to the trap door. A lizard statue. <laughs> I can imagine who's going to go nuts over that. Hmm, the LARPers. Okay, so lizard, lizard statue. It looks pretty ancient and menacing. And there's a suspicious lever. And there's also a trap door. I've never seen a trap door hidden that badly before in my life. Well, to be on to be honest, Larry, me neither. So can this we see? This is the only way out. No handle. Okay. So do we die if we uh, pull this? No. There's no way I'm touching anything here. Okay, fine. I'm not standing on that. I'm not crazy. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a trap. Anything else here? No. Hmm, actually, should we now go and tell the... Tell the LARPers that, hey, the ruins are now open. You can go and uh, do your thing in there. There's, there's traps and everything. So, let's go and talk to them. So... I asked all of these last time, didn't I? How does how does this work again? How does that LARP thing of yours work? We experience the wildest adventures in a world of fantasy. Each of us slips into a role, and the Game Master tells us what we experience. That's it? It's harder than it sounds. A Game Master has to know exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, it gets really boring. Okay. Hey, I can be your Game Master! Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. Mm -hmm. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Uh, actually, never mind. I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. Well, let us know when you find it. Hmm. I thought I did. I have to get going. Or maybe I'm supposed to talk to these two, the red shirt guy and Smokey, maybe. Well, let's talk to the red shirt guy. What have you been up to, Smokey? Who calls the kid red shirt? What's supposed to happen in this LARP? What's supposed to happen in this LARP? I want to find traces of an ancient civilization. They mm -hmm. could be behind the current conspiracy. And I expect an interstellar adventure. Alien races with whom we can live in peace. A real step forward for mankind. Wisdom and peace. Earlier, you said something about wanting to kick some alien ass. Um, for purely dramaturgical reasons, of course. Besides, I'd really like to experience a fist fight against a lizard man, where he shreds my shirt and everyone sees my muscles lizard man where i never should have thrown my old tinfoil hat in the trash this new one is crap of course it can't be a first contact because that would require following a different directive where are the lizard men easy smokey easy 
I haven't seen any. That only means only a statue. That well hidden. But without a game master, nothing's gonna happen. Those two bozos over there know exactly how this should work. Okay. Uh... I could be your game master. You think this is something for you? Oh, let him give it a try. As long as I can fight Lizard Man. But we also need the perfect setting. Did you find something? Hmm. Yes, I know the perfect place to hold a to hold a great LARP. Okay, there we go. Yes, I know the perfect place to hold a great LARP. Ooh, great! Let's go. Nice. Okay. Let's go! I can hardly wait! I don't like this place. They're watching me. I can feel it. Start already! Start already! So your spaceship crashed on an alien planet. There you find the remains of an ancient civilization. Good start! Something approaches. It's... A unicorn? A vampire? Goblin? A disembodied intelligence? Well, considering that we... Considering that these guys are playing as uh, as they are part as if they are part of the Star Trek universe or whatever, I think it's the disembodied intelligence. A disembodied intelligence. Oh, like in episode one six five. You quickly. The creature possesses. Smoky, an eggplant, an alpaca, a statue of a lizard. A statue of a lizard. All right! The lizard comes to life. With a grating sound, it comes closer and closer. I consult the Starfleet manual for the rules of conduct for first contact with possessed lizard statues! Uh, yeah, that too. But then it winds up to crush you. You? Say, whiz whiz. Stand there looking like a dolt. Die. Modulate, modulate your three quarters pulse frequency to alpha seven. I don't know if that's supposed to do anything for us, but um, well, I guess we go with this one. Modulate your three quarters pulse frequency to alpha seven. Because that would recalibrate the lizard statue's molecular structures. Um, yeah, that's what I was about to say. The statue has frozen. You quickly... Run away screaming, proclaim the New World Order, dig yourself in, clear your, uh, clear your next move with Starfleet Command, I suppose. Clear your next move with Starfleet Command. Yes, that's exactly what I'll do! Great story! What do I do now? The lizard statue is standing on a deadly trapdoor. It slowly awakens once more. At the last moment, you pull the lever. Yes! Oh god. The aliens kidnapped him! Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hello? Everything okay down there? Did I defeat the disembodied intelligence? Of course! You are the hero of the day! That was great! I even ripped my shirt and started bleeding! But why well, is my great. head so twisted? Oh, are those my bones? Oh. Uh, I'll call the ship's doctor. Oh, shit. Okay, but how did that help us exactly? That door is still locked. Or is it? Oh, it's not. Okay. Man, it's dark in here. I should put some light on the subject first. Okay, well, do we, uh, do we have anything that provides light? Well, actually, yes, we have this mushroom. Hmm? What are these? Moon and sun symbols. Better not. Hmm. Okay, uh, sun symbol. Oh! That looks pretty dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who's looking for something just like this. You know what, Larry? I was thinking the exact same thing. Okay, those moon and sun symbols are on very interesting looking, uh, I don't know, stones. Very interest interestingly shaped. Ruins passage. I'm not gonna just walk through there. Way too dangerous. Okay. Hmm. Ruins passage. Well, okay. 
Let's go and get the others. Hello? Is there anybody still there? I gotta admit, this does hurt a little bit. Could a little bit. Could you have some Starfleet tablets? Uh, there's something rustling around here. Maybe it's an Orion slave girl. Oh, <laughs> it's a badger. No badger, don't lick the blood up. I don't want you chewing on my leg either. Ouch! Take that! Pew! Pew! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get out of here. I hope it doesn't come back with reinforcements or anything like the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, poor fella. Let's hope that he doesn't die there. Okay. Well, folks, I guess we won't be tending the vagina flower in this episode. Hey, you too. Hmm. Okay, hey, so... I could be your game master. Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. The more dangerous... The better. You know anywhere like that? As a matter of fact, yes, I do. Yes, I know the perfect place to hold a great LARP. What do you say, Kyle? You wanna give it a try? Let's do it. Can't be any more boring than here. Then let's go. Okay, let's get started. I hope it's about a really sexy space princess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why not? So, uh... A beautiful princess named... Princess? Frau... Uh, Blutcher? Blondie? Leela, the most beautiful woman in the universe. Leela, huh? I wonder, I wonder what that's supposed to be a reference to. Leela, the most beautiful woman in the universe. Was kidnapped from the palace on our home planet of... Earth 2? Pluto? Des Moines? Sex mania. I guess it's sex mania. Sex mania. Just a few hours ago, and the perpetrators are fiendish aliens who want to do terrible things to her. <sighs> oh, what's she wearing? Oh, God. Practical clothing with loads of pockets, loose ropes, realistic armor with... High necked breastplate, bikini made of gold. And uh, you know what? Let's. Uh, it's obviously this one, but I just want to see the reactions if we say that it's uh, realistic armor. Realistic armor with a high neck breastplate. Too bad. Fortunately, two <laughs> okay. glorious heroes have taken up the trail to save her. <laughs> That's us, Finley. I know, dumbass. Uh, keep going. The two penetrate the space station where their princess is being held prisoner. They fight their way through to the detention block, but it is full of deadly traps. Uh, I don't know. Somehow I'm not feeling it. Me neither. Well, my butt itches like crazy, but I, I don't think that was the idea. No, not really. We need a really atmospheric story structure so that we can totally immerse ourselves in that world. Let's try again later when you have better material. Ah, okay. So, I guess I should say the golden bikini uh, thing. Okay, let's get started. I hope it's about her. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, why not? So, uh... Beautiful princess named Leela. Leela was kidnapped from the pal. Uh, sex mania. Sex mania. Just a few hours. <sighs> oh, what's she wearing? Uh, a bikini made of gold. A bikini made of gold. Perfect. There we go. Fortunately, two glorious heroes have taken up the trail to save her. <laughs> That's us, Finley. I know, dumbass. Uh, keep going. The two penetrate the space station where their princess is being held prisoner. They fight their way through to the detention block, but it is full of deadly traps. Awesome. I can almost see the princess in front of me. Yeah, 
I'm totally into it too. We mm -hmm. have to save her. The princess is waiting for her two heroes. Yet fate has strewn their path oh, with God. many a deadly trap. Or the aliens. Hey, this has to really stimulate our imaginations. Yeah, I really want to picture the palace in my mind. The best thing would be to turn off the lights so that we can really live out our roles in the dark. Great idea. Okay, is that, I can is do it, that. Is it really a good idea to uh, put the lights off? In a place with lots of traps. Well, hey, it's their, it's their funeral. I'll turn out the lights now, and your adventure begins. Tell us exactly what we need to do to meet the deadly challenges ahead. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. They won't be lethal, I hope. Okay, now what? So, you're approached by a vicious tentacled monster. You... Roll forward, jump up and down on the spot, start dancing, leap forward, talk as low as you can, run straight ahead as fast as you can. I think they should leap over that uh, chasm, because there is uh, spikes uh, down there. Leap forward. Hold on, princess. We're on our way. And you can lose that gold bikini. Let's go. Pew, 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 pew. Bam, bam. You escape the tentacled monster, but palace guards start to appear. The guards are shooting at you. You... Okay, not sure what to do here. Hold very still. Jump up and down on the spot. Start dancing. Try to catch the bullets with your hands. That doesn't, that, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Duck as low as you can. I think, I think we should duck here. Cry, and cry out for your mummies. Duck hm. as low as you can. <coughs> the shots are causing the walls to collapse. You... Roll forward. I think it's roll forward. Mm, let's try that. Roll forward. Uh, watch out over there. We're coming, princess! But then, the intergalactical death beams appear out of the walls. You... Cry out for your mummies, jump up and down the spot, dancing, leap forward, mm. run straight ahead, run straight ahead as fast as you can. Well, let's do that and hope for the best. You run straight ahead as fast as you can. We're almost there. Nothing can stop us. Hurry! It worked. We ah, it worked. all the traps. That was a great adventure, Larry. So, what's next? I well, wonder... you guys did your part to save the princess. She is at your feet, eternally grateful. Soon she will remove her gold bikini and summon you to her chambers. <laughs> Don't get too excited. And, uh, what do we do till then? You'll just have to wait here. Okay, I wonder. I wonder what would have happened if I uh, if they failed at any point. Would they have died? Hmm, maybe I should have maybe I should have done that. Just to, you know, test it. Well let's just uh, move on. Okay, what it's do we have here? Dirty in here. Huh. There seem to be some symbols, but they're barely visible under the dirt. What? You mean symbols on the I don't see any symbols on the ground. I can see these ones though. Okay. Hmm. Okay, nothing else here besides this. Doesn't look like it'll open just like that. It continues on that way. Okay, but how do we know? How do we know what's the right symbols to open this door? Let's see. Maybe I missed something over here. What do we have? Is there anything else here that... Hmm... I don't see any similar symbols in this uh, large chamber. Should I talk to them? Hey, uh, can we go see the princess now? Hasn't it been long enough? 
Just a little more patience. Okay. So they are waiting here. But um how to how to open this? How to open this? Should we go back outside? Oh wait, we have to call the other guy here. We have to call the cleaner. Yeah, you just stay here and chill. Stay chill. And you come with us. Okay. As Game Master, I can offer you a great story. Really? Can I clean up in there too? Really? The best would be if it takes place in a filthy dump where I have to make a heroic effort to clean up. Is there anywhere like that around here? Yep. Yeah, I know exactly where I can offer you a great LARP. My mop is hungry. Let's roll. As far as I understand it, you have to tell an exciting story now, and I have to use my skills to respond to it. Exactly. Right? Hmm. You assume the role of... Captain Gra Graham, Commander Sonny, Pretty offi Officer uh, Spielberg, Sanitation Captain Ro Roger, that one. Sanitation Captain Roger. Oh. Aliens have attacked the spaceship in which you are part of the crew. It's transporting a unique star generator. You are now the last surviving crew member. I like this. You barely managed to escape from the spaceship with an escape capsule and land on a strange planet. And I clean it. No. There you stumble across. A tentacle monster, a robot, a small furry creature from Alpha Centauri. A floating head. Um. Hmm. I don't know, robot. A robot. And then? You fight a terrible creature on the planet and then continue your journey. Oh, that sounds pretty improvised to me. In a nearby city, you buy a small spaceship. That needs cleaning. You manage to fly back to the spaceship carrying the star generator and infiltrate it. Using every iota of your intelligence, you trick the aliens and make your way to the star generator in order to... Destroy it, reprogram it, screw it. Mm, clean it, I suppose. Clean it. Yeah, just my thing. Where is this star generator thing I have to clean? Right here on the floor. Then I'll get right to it. Sanitation Captain Roger cleans to save the world as we know it. Yeah, good for you. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. There we go. So there were actually were uh, symbols on the floor. I just I just couldn't see any of them. Like, at all. But the question is... Uh, which one of them... Which one of these symbols are the right ones that we have to put on uh, put on this put on these labs? Well, I don't know, but I've been playing for long enough for today, so let's leave this puzzle for the next episode. So, until then. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Leaser Suit Larry. Wet Dreams Try Twice.